Hello everybody! In today's video, I'll be teaching you how you can play Pokemon Insurgents on your Mac. A quick heads up though before this video, on Apple Silicon Mac, Pokemon Insurgents does not run well, and I don't, I don't know exactly how it would perform on, um, <clears throat> on an Intel Mac, but at least on my Apple Silicon Mac, it does not run that great. I mean, it's playable, sure, but it's just... There's lots of uh, frame skips and stuff like that. They're just, you know, little stutters and stuff. Like, it's playable, but it's not, like, an amazing experience. I'll have gameplay at the end just so you can see what it's like. And I am on a baseline M MacBook, but still. And the reason for this is because it's actually a 32-bit application. So even, like, 32-bit Windows application. So if you're fine with it running, you know, not like a silky smooth 60 FPS, then continue watching. There are two ways to actually play Pokemon Insurgents is go to the Pokemon Insurgents website, which I'll have linked in the description. You're going to want to click on this download button, and then it'll just take you to these, and it says current version 1.2.7. So, here you're going to be met with two options, this Mac option or this Windows option. If you don't have Crossover or Whiskey or anything, I would recommend just doing this Mac option. This essentially will give you a guide, yeah, like this. And then you copy and paste this command into your terminal, and essentially it'll download the game and then download like wineskin wrappers um, that'll allow you to play the game. And it's all basically just follow these steps, it's super easy. The drawback of using the wineskin version though, fo by following this Mac guide, is you'll actually get slightly worse performance with this version compared to just running it with Modern Crossover, because Modern Crossover has the latest versions of wine included in it and that actually has a little bit better 32-bit application support. So you're going to be, and yeah, better like hardware acceleration and stuff. So at the end of the day, it's not that big a difference. I mean, they still both don't run that great, but this just runs a little bit less great than um, through Crossover or Whiskey. And honestly, since Whiskey isn't as modern as Crossover, I would just, if you don't have Crossover, basically, I would just recommend going with this. Now, for all the people who are going to be running this through Crossover, what you're first going to want to do is click on this installer under Windows. Just click Download right there and download it. Next, what you're going to want to do is open up Crossover and then push Install and then select Install an Unlisted Application right here because it's not a, um, like a, a, a thing that you can just search up. What you're going to want to do now is first, you're going to want to select the bottle. Just create a new bottle, name it, um, yeah, have it be w like Windows 10 64 bit. I haven't noticed any older versions performing better or worse, so I just go with Windows 10 64 bit. And then just name it like whatever you want. I, I, I name mine over there Pokemon Insurgents. You can name it just whatever you want. After you're creating a bottle, you're going to want to provide the installer file that you downloaded from the Pokemon Insurgents website. Push edit right there, and then select this option right here, setup.exe. This is the installer file that you got from the Insurgents website. Simply push choose installer, and then push install. I'm not going to do that as I've already done it, but essentially it'll just guide you through the setup process, you know, you just select your language, it'll take a bit to download some like updates and stuff, but then after that's all done, you should have something that looks like this right here, Pokemon Insurgents, and yeah, oh, that's my cat, don't mind him. <laughs> anyway though, yeah, you'll have this right here, Pokemon Insurgents, I have D3D Metal and M-Sync turned on, I've noticed a little bit better performance with these settings on, like again, like I said before, all these things are just you know, minuscule performance differences and stuff. And then you can go ahead and launch it. Now, I've already played this for just a little bit of time, but what you're going to want to do is go to options and mess around with these settings a little bit. So, you can set screen size at whatever you want, but I've noticed that larger screen sizes, like huge and stuff, actually impact performance a little bit, so you can either just like suffer through the tiny screen or you can have it a bit bigger and have a little bit worse performance. But yeah, other than the screen size, um, there's not many other performance-based settings that you can change, so yeah. I'm just gonna load in real quick and show you just what performance is like. So yeah, 
it is it's running well like like it's it's performing and stuff it's just you know you can see it's a bit like slow i guess it's i don't know i don't know how to describe it but it's it's kind of like a bit choppy a bit laggy you know sort of like it's definitely playable but it's not it's not like the 60 fps experience you'd be uh, getting on windows if you know what i mean To conclude, Pokemon Insurgents runs pretty decently on Mac, with the downsides of not too amazing performance, as well as lar like long hangs between um, different events, basically, you know, like between a fight and stuff and whatnot, as you saw in the gameplay footage. After watching this video, I hope I've either convinced you to try and get Insurgents running or not. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching, and keep gaming on a Mac.